I was looking at Facebook today, man. I'm feeling really. If you wonder why I'm feeling insecure these days, it's been going on for a while, man. You know, it ain't. It, it is. It's not fun sharing a name with somebody else. Period. Because you just want to be unique. Sure. Even if it's your name, John Smith, you want that name to yourself. Hey, try <laughs> try years of oh, Martin. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, right. You don't even get a last name. People just get you for your first name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty of that. By the way, <laughs> back man, Martin used to get so mad. That's why I can't even get mad at Martin for getting mad at me because when we used to do our access show. We had a dude who had a soundboard, and he had that. He had that. <laughs> oh, that's right. He, he had that. That Martin from from the Martin Show with uh, Martin Lawrence. And Martin just be coming in trying to do a serious review, and I'd like to say how I feel about Schindler's List. My <laughs> and it, it got to a point where he, he used to stop, and his eyelids just used to be quivering and shit. But it got to a point you could tell he was real serious because he just ignored. And he get more serious about his review, and he get louder. I don't think it's the way that they actually treated the Jews back then. My aunt, and I have to say that. <laughs> and I just be in the room. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> but so I guess I shouldn't be too too upset. But I thought when I was growing up, people used to call me weird for my name. They used to say, "Man, you know Corey Coleman." I remember like adults used to say, "That's a girl's name, isn't it?" Especially when you spelled it like my name with a K. So I spelled, I, I felt extra unique. So you can all understand how I feel like when Corey Goodwin comes in here oh, yeah. with a K. But you know, that's Corey. And Corey ain't, you know, Corey just a dude from George. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, he's cool and everything. Who but speaks six languages. Yeah, it's, it's sitting in six, that's another thing. But don't, don't, don't tell nobody that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, he's hanging here with me. You know, we on the same. Yeah, how, yeah, how, how elevated can he be? Yeah, we on the same else. level. You know, I know he, <laughs> I know he's hanging in the gutter. You know, because I'm there. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Keep your foot on him to make sure he doesn't rise yeah. up. And... Oh, there's no escape from here. <laughs> but King Crab, King, <laughs> yeah, got that claw on his ass. Oh no, it's better down here, brother. You don't want to go up there. <laughs> I, I'm King Crab Negro. Come on down. <laughs> the water's good, but. My mother lately, she's been getting uh, a lot of uh, in inquiries from people, and especially today when I look on Facebook, and I used to laugh about this because there's another Corey Coleman out there. I don't know if you keep up with sports too much, but some oh right today somebody said so, apparently today I scored two touchdowns against the Ravens, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what, thank you, <laughs> thank you. That's why I was running late today. I was in the game. <laughs> Scoring those two touchdowns. On the last touchdown, I just kept running and came in here, man. It was like Forrest Gump. <laughs> and he's going. He's going. Oh my God, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> you never gonna see him again. <laughs> so I just ran in here. See, I multitask people. Yeah, on Facebook, it was right here. Miguel or Alana. <laughs> yeah, he sit up here and say, Corey scored two touchdowns against the Ravens. And by the way, somebody would like y'all. They say, hey, that's really not that hard to do. <laughs> 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 you could score the third if you didn't come do this yeah, show. But I have to do a show, yeah, exactly. Oh, how's the team doing, by the way? I was here. But my mother's getting asked about Corey Coleman, who used to play for Baylor, man. Now he plays for the for the uh, uh for the Browns, the Cleveland Browns. And, and he has, <laughs> he got look. He got my jersey and everything right there, man. And Erwin, my, your son done good. <laughs> that's Waco, man. Yeah, he's from Waco. He's from Waco too. Uh oh. This dude, this dude is from Waco, man. And so my mother, ever since this dude been he, because he was like the what, what uh, he was like uh, the fifteenth on the draft pick or something there, Sammy. Yeah. And so and so when he uh, when he got signed, my mother was getting all kind of calls and. People seen on the street talking about. I heard your boy just signed with the NFL. <laughs> Man, I hope nobody tries to rob her because like, oh, her son is rich. He, yeah. plays, he plays for the NFL. Oh, when they get to the house and see that shit, they ain't gonna take nothing, man. <laughs> what, what, what do they want? A collection of Tyler Perry movies? <laughs> they ain't gonna want microwave shit loving. Oh, they, well, she got a new microwave. That's true. She'll let them take that shit. I don't know how to work that thing anyway, baby. Have it. But she. She getting calls from people. Yo, heard your baby just saw the NFL, and she's like, "Nah, that's not the one." But my baby's the one with the podcast. <laughs> with, like, with, 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 with the what now? <laughs> and people what, are like, "What's a podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> and the people do know. They're like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, that's that's cool. That's that's, that's, that's nice that's too. Cute. Yeah, I have I'll have to listen to that." <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt more like a disappointment to my mother. 
<laughs> he ain't with the NFL. <laughs> that nigga doing something called a podcast. A podcast. What is that? He doing pie people shit or something. I don't know. <laughs> Especially when you look at this brother. It, it, man, it's, it's rough when somebody have your name, but when they have the same name as you do and they're the more successful you. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's rough, bro. I know. I know. That, that motherfucker said, you can just hang it up right now. It's one thing for me to feel like I'm a disappointment to my mother, but it's another for my mother to actually feel that way, too. Like, she actually feels like, damn, I wish that was my son now. You know, she's getting to the point where people come up on the street and like, I heard your son. That's not him. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. It's not fucking him. Maybe you can Freaky Friday him somehow. <laughs> <laughs> or he could just beat my ass when I come around. Yeah, it's spelled with a C. Oh, it's spelled with a C. Okay. So he let he left me the K. There you go. You but st you still the special K. Yeah, I'm. I still. <laughs> you want to you want to reserve retarded K, don't you? I didn't say that. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Don't you ever ever call me retarded? Not even in jest. Don't you ever call me special K? <laughs> Martin's like, okay, retard K. <laughs> you know, it was so people on the pre-show. You gotta watch that. <laughs> oh, no, the reason. No, the reason why I gotta bring it up because Corey Goodwin had me laughing because I got extra mad when he did it and I just had to laugh. That's why I called myself because people, you know, looking did at it, I was like, oh, Mark was joking about retarded. Or he called me retarded. We had this whole thing in the pre-show. You want to see it? And I sent him an email where I was mad and shit. But Corey Goodwin sent another email and I was really mad about that because it was from it, it was it was Viola Davis uh, from uh, the help from the help <laughs> and, and, the, and the whole thing is like I think you is smart. <laughs> I think she was intelligent. And I was like, he's doing it too. <laughs> you know, I'm, I can't even read now. <laughs> I sent you my apology and I thought everything was cool. And then I saw what he sent. I was like, oh shit, he's stirring it back up again. Well, even when I saw it, I had to laugh. You know, right, I, like, yeah, look at yourself. Yeah, I had to, I had to laugh about that shit. I said, yes, I is smart. <laughs> I is intelligent. I just ain't that Corey Coleman right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, be like your name. I mean, if y'all got a name, ain't nobody more famous than you. Because I said my name is so unique that, yeah, even if I just achieved just a little bit, at least I would be the Corey Coleman that did that. And then this Negro came along. <laughs> yeah. It's a damn shame, man. And now I'm thinking, you know what? If some scandal comes out with it, I do not want anything bad on anybody. And I want this brother to be successful. I mean, I really do. I want you to take the Corey Coleman name and <laughs> I'll fuck that name up. You do something. <laughs> Redeem it's, it's, it. It's now up to you, brother. <laughs> Avenge me, Corey Coleman, with a C. He's going to get a concussion, though. Uh, oh, <laughs> Martin, I wouldn't say that, Martin. Come on, tell, tell the, the truth. truth. I know everybody. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after his concussion, he'll be doing podcasts. Yeah, maybe he'll do a podcast. I'll be out there playing football. <laughs> 45 year old Corey Coleman. That just sound with the Waco Hornets. <laughs> oh, it could be. Hey, man, I'm. Hey, you know what? For 45, I'm still in shape, man. I was out there playing frisbee with my girl yesterday. <laughs> frisbee? Yeah. With your, you with your girl. Oh. A, with my girl, yeah. And my puppy. <laughs> Did you lose your hacky sack? <laughs> no, but my dick was somewhere in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo was playing with that. Yeah. When I sign, hey man, when I sign with the National Frisbee League, don't you say nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be me out there, Corey Coleman, fifteenth, <laughs> fifteenth draftsman on the National Frisbee League. <laughs> out there posing with my, with my discotron looking shit, <laughs> doing those underleg catches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good exercise though, man. I ain't gonna lie. I got out there and it was great exercise. And you know something? I can always look at things and say, hey. At least I, I, hey, look, that's Corey Coleman that went on to be successful, but at least I'm not that other Corey. And y'all know which one I'm that talking Corey about. Blank man. That Corey <laughs> Blank Man, yes. Boy, I, I tell you what, if somebody got this, the same name as Corey Feldman and y'all ain't doing as good as he is, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you changed your name by this point. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Come on over that cold man. You leave that fell behind. But people have been asking me. They've been asking me about Corey Feldman all day. I've been getting all kind of emails. Somebody already sent me an email today saying, man, you got that thing for that cringe. So they said, if you do, you need to look at your fellow Corey over there. They said, what? They, they, they asked me, like all Corys know, like all Corys keep up with each other. We know what's going on. Like, man, what's wrong with your Corey? Let me talk to you, Corey. I was like, man, ain't that boy's been, he's been gone for a long time. Not really. Just not in the major spotlight. That is true. He's been having a reality show where he's fashioned himself as sort of an amateur Hugh, Hef uh, Hugh Hefner 
with this stable of women and he gives them a list of rules they have to follow. Okay, is that what that's about? Here, here he is. He was on the Today Show. That's what we're talking about. He came on the Today Show and people can't stop talking about like, what the fuck was Corey Feldman doing? I think that's a hashtag right now. Corey, what the fuck? Movies like The Goonies, Stand By Me, License to Drive. He's always had a passion for singing. And now Corey's got a double CD. Yes, and we hear it's a labor of love. <laughs> what you say, look like Skrillex? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Skrillex. <laughs> you know, it's a... So, it, look, I ain't one to hate, especially since we Corey's got to support, man. But, you know, it, but gets, a point. <laughs> it, it gets to a point where you just got to pull back and say, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. That Corey's on his own. It's Corey doing his thing right here. I got a podcast. <laughs> you know, I, this Corey right here, I don't know what the fuck is happening. And here's the thing. You were talking about how he has these women now. So he's kind of, he is trying to pull a Hugh Hefner type kind thing. Kind of a Hugh Hefner a la Charlie Sheen. Okay, because he's brought in what he called his angels. Right. And this, the, and this is crazy right here. What he's talking about with the with these angels, he's actually treating this like like he's providing like a social service. Angels have probably saved me once or twice in my life, and I like helping them as well. That's why I created Corey's Angels as a way to help girls who are like kind of lost and needed to find their way to to get their opportunities, their dreams, and make them realities. By the way, the fuck that up. is the same line that everybody on K To Catch a Predator uses. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Every one of them. No, I was trying to help her not go, not be a victim of, of underage sex. Yeah, it's except, like, mm. except Martin, that's, that's the thing. These are grown ass women right mm -hmm. here. He's act. He's talking about like he's so like he's hosting like some kind of uh, at at youth at at risk youth program. Yeah. You know, uh, hey, I'm just taking hot girls off the street and getting them the dick that they need. <laughs> you know, you know, it's like I'm showing them the way. Yeah, to my pants. <laughs> yeah, he's a grown ass woman. I like he's doing a favor. Like Martin, I'm so happy that he's finally giving these hot girls a place <laughs> to go and something to do. He's finally taking hot girls off the street because they've been so they've been so so at risk all these years, man. Yes. You know this. <laughs> quit quit bullshitting. I'm trying to help you. You're trying to fuck. That's what you're trying to and, do. And you know these are struggling L.A. actresses who are just looking for a chance at some kind of fame doing something. They're those. They finally found. He found the desperate ones. Mm -hmm. Waiting at the bus station. <laughs> Waiting. At, the the ones that tried. The ones got that got turned down. The ones that got turned down by Hefner. The ones that tried to get with Charlie Sheen, they're like, oh, he got A's now, <laughs> you know. The, the ones who auditioned for things where they just went like, ah, next, and sorry, no, you don't yeah. have it. Yeah, uh, y'all finally hit the core film. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, so maybe it is kind of a, a, an at-risk program. Hey, there's that point, there's, there's two, the road div the divulges in two different ways. And one is, is uh, Corey Feldman, and the other is porn. Yeah, he, he's that barrier right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm taking these hot girls off the bus station <laughs> before they get filled in all holes. <laughs> you know, it's a, I know what this man is doing right here. And you know what? And that was weird itself right there. You know, hot girls hanging out with Corey Feldman. Just never thought of that. 45-year-old Corey Feldman. But then he started the dance. And he's yeah. got so the whole thing. He has this new record out, this new album, this new CD, whatever the fuck. And it's uh, and it's where he's uh, it's supposed to be a story, but where it's him, like some big concept album, trying to escape from hell, and these angels are helping him out. This shit ain't nothing but fucking uh, what do you call that shit? Uh, Vanity Project? No, no, that shit that Skrillex does. That shit ain't nothing but uh, it ain't nothing but dubstep. No. He's already behind with this shit. Get a fly? <laughs> he got his Peter Pan shit going on. <laughs> like some new kind of bat, he, bat dance. And something. look, he and the funny thing is he put a dab in there. <laughs> he, he actually dabbed a little bit. Stop being weird, nigga. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna use that no more, but, I, but if there was ever an appropriate time to do that, it was then. And even people look, and people say, "Hey, man, what the fuck are you doing?" That man, that man needs help. All right, I'm telling y'all, y'all up here laughing, y'all up here making fun of him. Even this boy from uh, Stand by Me, Jerry, o, Jerry O'Donnell, uh, uh, or uh -huh. Connell, oh, yeah, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell even come in and like. Hey, man, congratulations, man, on your new album and your smooth moves there, brother. <laughs> it's like, man, y'all stop. Y'all stop encouraging this man right here. He's crying for help right now. He needs it. 
You know, we're looking at this, and we th- either this is a joke or some performance art, or he's on some shit. Man, I have waited. I, I watched this thing twice because I was waiting for that point where I saw where he kind of made a wink at the audience to let you know that, like, I know this is stupid. No. Nothing happened. No, man. It's funny because a lot of people are saying, they're saying that he looks like a, <laughs> they're saying like he looks like, like a, like an emo Dracula. Or yeah, that's, <laughs> hey, Dracula, that's what I was thinking about because he's got those black boots on. He's tiptoeing and yeah. doing this. Like he's yeah. about to fly, turn like into he, a bat. He should be rolling out on a skateboard. He got, <laughs> got his sad hoodie on and shit. <laughs> and I was looking at it like, no, that brother looked like the emperor, man. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, he was in the Lost Boys. He was. He was. I was looking at this shit, and I, and I was saying, man, this motherfucker looked just like the Emperor from Star Wars, an <laughs> a emo dubstep emperor. Use your aggressive feelings. <laughs> He's a Sith Lord, man, doing this shit. You know? What is some kind of synthesized track playing in the background? So what's his quote-unquote band doing back there? No, no. Yeah, they, they, they ain't even playing instruments. If you look yeah. at this one girl in the background, she ain't even trying to strum an instrument. She's just doing this shit. She ain't even getting lost in this shit. I mean, it's... it's, it's <laughs> if you look at them, look at this shit, man. They are spaced out back there. They, yeah. are, they are so bored being here. Like, one of them ain't even playing. You <laughs> look right, at this right. one over here. She, she came in late. She's still looking at the floor and shit. You know, and if, when you look at it, he's trying, to do, he's trying to do some Michael Jackson shit. Yeah, that same Michael Jackson shit he used to do back in the day when they were pals. Back in the day. And, he, and here's the funny thing about it, man. Every time he gets called on it, he's always like, all right, man, that's my shit, man. <laughs> you know, just, it's just a coincidence that me and Michael Jackson started dancing at the same time. I might have picked up a couple of moves, but no, I ain't no, man. He, t- he took some shit from me, if anything. So. There's going to be some MJ moves coming here in a minute. I just, um, hey, does it kind of come no MJ moves. moves. No, it's, yeah, it's kind of a similar style of dance because we grew up dancing together. Get the fuck out of here with <laughs> that, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all start dancing together and you got obsessed with him. He's been doing this. He's been doing this since the 80s. Yeah. Uh, the first time that it happened, do you remember that movie Dream a Little Dream? Uh-huh. Where he was, uh, for, for no reason, they didn't explain it. He was just this kid at school that just dressed like Michael Jackson and started like trying to impress his girl with his Michael Jackson moves. Yeah, like you want to be the girl dating that creepy motherfucker in high school. <laughs> The white dude that does Michael Jackson cosplay every day <laughs> in high school. That dude, you know, I don't. Even, I never saw the movie. I don't even know what that movie's about. I just everybody just knew that for some reason he came out like, why is he dressed like Michael Jackson? Well, he would go on talk shows doing it. Like, hey, check out this new thing I'm doing, and he would just put on a show doing Michael Jackson cosplay, and everybody would be like, oh, okay, yeah, is that it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I and, and today I actually had to look at it because I remember you remember Adrian Villegas, sure. When him and I used to live together, I remember uh, I remember th- uh, watching him on a, on a show, and I said, "Man, that cannot be the same show." It was uh, evening at the Improv, uh-huh. and he came out on an evening at the Improv, and a lot of people wondering, like, "Oh, okay, it's Corey Feldman. He's finally got a sense of humor about things." They thought that he was going to come out in the whole dancing thing. They thought that that was part of the joke. I mean, it's a comedy show, so they thought right. it was like a, a, again performance art or a gag. <laughs> That shit went on for five minutes. Sure. And you should have seen the audience. The audience, the first thing was kind of like, yeah, yeah. And then it cut back a little later on. And people just kind of like, okay, what the oh. fuck is going on? <laughs> like you, Martell, some goddamn jokes. <laughs> you know, no, nobody was laughing. People were weirded out by that. And, you know, it's... Uh, it, I would, what I wouldn't give for interviews from people who were there last night or the staff of the club. There was a moment where I thought, all right, he's acting normal now. You know, he's finally, he's finally kind of dropped the weird shit, and he's growing up. And mm-hmm. he's being, you know, he's finally like saying, okay, you know, I was weird for a long time because the business did me that way. Right. Especially when he came out recently. Uh, who was it, Frodo, that came out with uh, that whole thing about uh, Hollywood is full of pedophiles? Oh, was Elijah it Wood. Was it Elijah Wood? Okay. Yeah, Elijah Wood came out, and he was saying something. He was in a movie where they addressed that, I believe, and uh, 
And then for a day or so, two days, it became a big deal, especially when Corey Feldman came out. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm, yeah, I met a lot of those pedophiles, man. They had me plenty of times. Do you feel like you missed out on a normal childhood? <laughs> what childhood? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Now, he's talking about pedophilia, but if that's as normal as you get with Corey Feldman, that's, that's a big step. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you ain't looking like Michael Jackson right now. He ain't doing that weird Skrillex emperor shit. You know, he's looking like a normal person. It's just sad, man. It's, it's sad. Because, I mean, look, he, he let him do his thing. Let him do it. It's just it's Well, just he's weird. always been doing his thing, and, and, and his shtick never changes. What changes is when they decide to focus on him. I hate it, too, man, because this guy, look, I grew up with Corey Feldman. You know, that was a guy where I was like, I didn't have no. He t he had my name and everything. I was like rooting for him. Another Corey rooting for another. Sure. Y'all remember the movies. Y'all remember the Goonies. You remember Stand By Me. Hey, Everybody loves the Lost Boys, man. They were the, they were the best thing about the Lost Boys uh, in the movie. Him and uh, Hayne. Him and Corey Hayne. I, you know, I, I never want to, like, I never want to root against the guy. I, I never do. I want to see people. It's just sad to see when people's childhood, you know, when Hollywood and the business takes these people and just turns them completely out. And especially when you, you've seen all those movies that he's done, but he's been in the business a lot longer than people realize. Sure. Man. He was, uh, if you go on the internet, you can find all these commercials with him in there. Uh, they have, uh, I forgot, there was, a, there was two commercials out there. One is a Christmas commercial. I don't know if it's Coke or what. And then they have another one where he's in a, he's in a Heinz ketchup commercial. He's like that little little kid that comes out of nowhere just asking you about your ketchup. Your ketchup's coming out a lot slower than ours does. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like Froggy from the Little uh, Rascals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, maybe he wasn't normal back then. Maybe he was never normal. That little autistic kid who just has a thing for ketchup. Wow, let me see your ketchup. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> That's not good manners. Oh, you notice our hind. Hey, get up, get off me, bitch. Catch up. Catch up. <laughs> You're tasted. Anticipation. I didn't catch up. Man, do you do you remember back then how I've just forgot how those commercials was, how they were. The the Heinz ketchup commercials, they had this whole thing where the ketchup came out so slow uh -huh. that you would just be jacking off while you watch it come out. It was, well, they, they sold that shit with sex, man, because they, they had that shit like pouring out so slow and they made it seem like, oh, yeah. You know, your tongue be looking at it while it's coming out. Oh, fuck, yeah. Kid just pouring ketchup all over me. Yeah, you're right. He is autistic. <laughs> I love ketchup. <laughs> oh, you guys got ketchup? Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, we do. Where's your mom? Yeah, <laughs> want me to get your kid? <laughs> no, ketchup. You showing mustard now? <laughs> they're like, yeah, we got our Heinz. You want some? Yeah, yeah. They throw that bottle across the street. Runs after you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bring it on a little thick. That's not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look. He's another one of those Hollywood pedophiles. <laughs> exactly. You got a ketchup bottle on the string and shit. Yeah, hey, come on, kid. I got your ketchup. You know, you know, do you remember the Fox and the Hound? Yeah. He was the voice of Copper. Yeah. In Fox and the Hound. Why it's it's you. What do you do that for? We're supposed to do that when we find what we've been tracking. I'm a fox. My name's Todd. What's your name, kid? Mine's Copper. I'm a hound dog. Dog starts breakdancing like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and Fox is like, oh, okay, man, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, hey, you know, people, teach though, teach though. You know what? If, 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 if it's successful and it works for him, he's doing his thing. As long hey. as he ain't hurting nobody. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. You know, it's still fucking weird. But, you know, let him, let him do his thing, man. It, crazy as that shit is. It's, it's less weird than his whole Corey's Angels thing. No, it all kind of goes together, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't, can you see him at the bus station, that hoodie on? <laughs> hey, want to be my angel? <laughs> I got ketchup. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's any, been a point in his life where somebody said, hey, man, 
maybe you should take a break from show business. And he's just like, no, this, this is my life. This is what I do. Yeah, he, it's killing you, son. Yeah, it's mm. killing him, people. Don't say we didn't tell you. When the day comes, Martin, here's something that I hope he's going to be all right. I'm feeling guilty and shit. Hey, Martin, <laughs> here's something. You know, that, look, yeah, he'll, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. He's doing his thing. He ain't hurting I mean, nobody. He's too goddamn old to be doing that, but <laughs> yeah, hey. He is, man. <laughs> Believe me. We that's, that's the one thing I can't wait from it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I look at the shit I'm doing, I say, you know, I'm, Corey, you too goddamn old to be doing this. And I look at Corey Feldman, I'm like, nope. <laughs> I'm A OK. <laughs> <laughs> Adulthood in full effect right here. <laughs> you don't see me picking up Turkish girls at the bus station a fucking hoodie and shit. Hello, my Turkish delight. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's because you didn't think of it first. Yeah, you know, that's true. <laughs> Who's to say I ain't ever done that? <laughs> Just didn't get as popular as he did. Um, this dude's in Turkey who haven't had as many Turkish girlfriends as you. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, man. <laughs> shit, this dude's trying to send me Turkish girls right now. Thank them, thank them, please. <laughs> we'll trade you one American girl for five Turkish women. <laughs> And a camo too, but man, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> you know you went too far. <laughs> Check your email. You gotta have a long, angry email. <laughs> Don't you ever? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get an email, bro. Don't you ever, ever call me a camel again? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say you were. I just said I traded you for a camel. <laughs> but she at home, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get home. She's gonna be gone. There's gonna be a camel in her place. <laughs> Marry this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. She said, fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm in the roommate, dude. <laughs> Mind if I smoke? <laughs> Gamefly brings to your house, to you, over 8,000 new releases and classics that are available to rent, or you can buy them for almost every system out there. Current and some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly is giving me an excuse to do that. And you could even try 30 days for free by typing in GameflyOffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house. Don't go nowhere because they're all going to get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know... If you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge 10, that's the word bridge in the number 10, you can get 10% off, a 10% discount on your first crate. How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.